Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Well, everybody, we got a we got a cute. I charge them very little for it. This is a cute, and it's important though too. And that is, what is the exchange rate between a liberal arts GPA and a business degree GPA and a STEM GPA? And we used to make fun of this back when we were in college because, like, you're, and we knew, or at least my group of friends, we knew we weren't no fucking engineers, and that our you know 3.8 GPA over the Carlson School was not the equivalent of a 3.8 over at st at the IT department or computer science engineering. So we know, like, you know, because our buddies were engineers too, we knew, like, well, dude, if that guy's got a 2.5, and I got a 3.8, it don't mean I'm smarter than him because I know, you know, I know Punjab, and Punjab could kick my ass in calc. Uh, but then it was always these pontificating thinking they were holier than thou. They're so smart because they have their master's degree in social justice studies. And like, I have a 4.0 and I have a master's. And like, yeah, fucking picking your nose. So what is the exchange rate between, say, a 2.0 in business versus a 2.0 in in the liberal arts, this is a 2.0 <clears throat> in STEM. Well, there's much debate, but I sincerely do believe it is by a factor of two. We're going to use real, use the rule of a factor of two. And it's going to result in some very weird GPA figures that don't really exist. Although I guess we're being so affirmative actiony and soft on kids nowadays, you probably could get some of these GPAs. Because I think when I was graduating, you could even get like a 5.0 GPA. Because why well, you did affirmative? Not affirmative, like you had advanced placement studies and then you had this and now he did some some socialist work for, for the Democrat Party, although they just called it social work and, and you made yourself well-rounded and so you get a 5.0 and maybe you get a 6.0. So just hear me out, we're not talking necessarily, we're saying what would the theoretical GPA values be uh, if we were to really compare skill, effort, work, toil, rigor, and intelligence between the different degrees, all right? So what I have here, I've got a little spreadsheet I put together. We have a liberal arts, and I just went one, two, three, and four. You have a 1.0 GPA, a 2.0 GPA, a 3.0 GPA, and a 4.0 GPA. <clears throat> Let us say you're the dumbest of the dumb. You got a 1.0 GPA as a liberal arts major. Um, well, if you were to compare it equivalently, uh, that would be like having a 2.0 GPA in a business degree or having a 4.0 GPA in a STEM. In other words, uh, uh, a, a liberal arts degree would have to have the exchange rate of 4 to 1. One STEM CPA, or I'm sorry, one STEM GPA point would be the equivalent of four liberal arts points. So if you got a 1.0 as a STEM major, or 2.0 is a business major, that is the equivalent to having a, being a straight A student. So if you like are failing at STEM, you know, like you got a one, you got D's, that's like getting straight A's in STEM. <clears throat> now kind of reversing, now let's go to the other extreme. Let's say you're just the smartest of the smartest. You have your triple masters in bunnies and finger painting and safe rooms and social, with a minor in social justice wiring. Uh, and you got your 4.0. Uh, that would that would be like a STEM major having a GPA of 16. It's uh, but actually it's it's more. I'm sorry, I'm doing the math wrong. <laughs> In order to have the equivalent, like a say a STEM major has a GPA, like he gets straight A's, that would imply the liberal arts major would have to get a GPA of 16. And of course, that's not possible. And so there really is a factor of, of four between the difference. So if you got a GPA of 16, well, then you can claim to be the equivalent of a um, business degree holder that has a GPA of eight and a STEM degree holder with a GPA of straight A's of a 4.0. So it really is just a, it's a factor of two. If, if you are a liberal arts major, Take your GPA and divide it by two. That would be your equivalent GPA if you were in business school. And then you would take that GPA and divide it by another two or take your original liberal arts GPA and divide it by four. And that's what your GPA would be if you were in a real field like STEM. So uh, I'm sorry it's just true. Uh, I'm sorry, guy. I'm, I'm, I'm beating you up because I love you. The liberal arts are worthless. 
and not only are they worth, they're starting to get damaging now because they're brainwashing you to to ruin your lives, hating different groups of people, blaming things on white males, um, all the politics that is in this. Are you guys learning classics like Plato, Socrates? Are you learning about history? Are you are you learning anything, or is it all politicized? Because it seems it's nothing but indoctrination and brainwashing to be a hate group, to really hate on different people who have more than you. So don't be these, don't waste your time. Don't waste, don't be a loser. It's it's June, guys. It's Worthless Degree Awareness Month. Please get the fuck out of the liberal arts. It's it's not, no, it's not for you to be real wound, uh, well-rounded. It's not for you, it's more about the thing than money. No, not when you're paying the tuition prices you are. Get the fuck out of the liberal arts. At least go, look, at least go into business school or go and get a trade degree. And then go to the library and read all the anti-white male stuff you want to read on, on the feminists and the, and the gay, transgender, bi, or just watch, you know, um, uh, daytime TV. You'll learn all about Bruce Jenner and Caitlyn Jenner and all that other crap. Just for the love of God, stop paying your professors $4,000 a credit to learn this worthless shit. It's not worth it. Go, go to the library and read up on it on your own. Because I tell you, your degree isn't going to get you a job. It's, it does not improve your employment prospects. It's, I wish you could even say it's making you more intelligent. It's not. It's making you brainwashed and hate-filled and pissed at the world. So, um, you know, go to school for the right thing. Get business at the minimum. Trades, preferably. STEM, ideally. Anyway, that's all we got. Toodles.